Schools and police departments all over Metro Detroit are trying to manage what is being called American School Shooting Day on social media. It's a TikTok challenge encouraging students to make a threat against their school, hoping school leaders will, out of an abundance of caution, close school for the day. Attorneys say Seattle Public Schools may be the first district in the country to sue social media companies. The 92-page lawsuit says social media giants have violated Washington's public nuisance law and intentionally contributed to the youth mental health crisis in the state. The brains, particularly the developing brain of young children and teens, is starting to get quite used to these short form videos to the point where what the actual brain science behind it is, is that we see dopamine, which is your feel good hormone. It is what um, is involved in addiction. It's what's involved in the reward circuitry of your brain. We see that it gets spiked up. So when they're looking through and they're scrolling through these real quick videos, that's what, what's happening. They're getting these dopamine hits that feel good, just the way it does when people sometimes use drugs or they use alcohol or they become addicted to other things. Members of both parties are ramping up calls to regulate the popular social media app. And this week, the head of the FBI became the latest government official to warn the app is a threat to national security. There's a number of concerns. FBI Director Christopher Wray says because TikTok is owned by a Chinese company, the data of the roughly 80 million Americans on the app could be weaponized.